we decided to bungee a tarp on top yep. so that it kept everything sealed up. Well prepared. So we did not even get out of our development and we went over a, a bump. Jim was driving and she's like, wait a minute. I mean, it sounded like it scraped a little or something like yeah. that. And she looks in the rear view and she's like, oh my gosh. Okay guys, so this is actually how our trip is starting off. This was supposed to be in the hitch and I went over this bump here. As you can see, it drugged bottom, but uh, yeah, there it is. So that's gonna be fun because this thing's really heavy. Ugh. Everything is telling us do not leave Florida. Adventurers, we are so excited to be here at Zoo Tampa today for Croc Fest. We just met up with Savannah and we are gonna have a blast today. Are you laughing at me? Yeah. I thought so. <laughs> I mean, what good am I if I can't make you laugh? All right. So, yeah. All right, so Lisa has a very serious question for you. Yeah. Okay. Do you know what the term making a bull run means? Making a what? Bull run. Bull run. When a trucking term. Like bulls? Like a trucking term when you're making a bull run. Some kind of rule when you call bulls that you don't stop. Why? Because apparently, what I heard, if you stop and a bull, a bull might, well, probably will lay down and then the other bull will actually crush them, like stampede them enough. So a bull run means like you drive straight through. It's the term for truckers. We're making a bull run. You ever heard that? No. Really? Oh, uh. probably not. So I think Lisa and I are going to have to do that so that yeah. none of our animals get stampeded when we stop. <laughs> oh, Pappy's got his coffee. And look, this is his, this is his token. If you know Pappy's been in a diner. See how they're stacked? Pappy's been here. Look at those stacked creamers. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us what you ordered today, Pappy. I ordered uh, Ben Frank. That's his favorite item on the menu. So if you guys ever take Pappy out, be sure to get him his Ben Franklin, which is chip beef, beef gravy. Chip beef gravy. Oh, and here it comes. There's his oh, Ben yeah, Franklin. Yummy. She's coming. And creamer. And there's mine. It's not keto friendly, but it is flavor friendly. <laughs> what you got? I have the fast track. It's poached egg. I'm gonna make it jiggle. Yeah, it's supposed to be medium. I don't jiggle know. it a little just a little bit. Okay, guys, so we officially made it into Zoo Tampa. I absolutely love this manatee fountain here. Very, very cool. It almost looks like it's just suspended in the air. So we are heading into Asia, guys. We are gonna go check out the feeding of the gharial. Super excited right now. This is such a cool zoo, too. I love it here. <laughs> Nobody else. <laughs> <laughs> My mom said I'm at Bethel. Yeah. Well, I have the food. Well, they're feeding the Komodo dragon right now. Apparently, they're feeding a carcass to him. Check it out, guys. There is a beautiful rhino over here. He must have known we were coming. He's just, like, striking a pose. Look at him. And there's the baby. That's a mama. That's the baby right next to her. See her? Yeah. You can see the baby's feet over there right behind Mama. How cool is that? Okay guys, so we are at the Pygmy Hippo Enclosure. And I can kind of see a shadow moving over to the left there by the wall. Going out to the middle now. Check out this pygmy hippo. I love pygmy hippos. They are one of my favorite animals. I think they're so cool. Hopefully, hopefully we'll make an appearance. There he goes again towards the middle of the pool. Likes to make that little circle around you know, the waterfall. Oh, there he comes. Finally got a glimpse of the pygmy hippo out of the water, guys. This is so cool. 
came over to say hello. It'd be so cool if it would just dive right in. How awesome. Guys, check out this beautiful pygmy hippo making her way around the pool there. It's like she's foraging for some leafy greens. Looks delicious. What do you think, Lise? Yeah, she was just grabbing some of that foliage over there. No, the baby's in the back there. Look, I think she's gonna get in her pool. Here she comes. Here she comes, guys. This is so exciting. She saw my beautiful stuffed animal that Lisa just gave me, and she was attracted to me because I am the hippo queen. Guys, check out this awesome vehicle behind us here. This is a Land Rover Safari vehicle, and we're getting ready to go check it out a little bit closer. I'm gonna drive. Jen's driving. All right. Wow, this could be a rough ride. It looks like all kind of wild animals. What's this? All these animals. What's, What's that you're saying? He wants to drive. Aw. What's this? We don't have a name for your baby hippo. Don't touch the steering wheel though. I don't want you to get caught. Like he's gonna, you just pretend. Let's pretend drive. There we go. Mm -hmm. There we go. From one safari vehicle to another. Let's see which one can make the train. <laughs> I'm wishing I had your safari vehicle about now. My feet's killing me. Another day, Expedition Wild Africa. Another day. So if you guys joined us for the live stream, you got to go with us. Well, with me, because I was the only one that did it. You guys weren't with Lisa at the time. Lisa ran off. Lisa was going to get some, some presents. So yeah. it's an excused absence. Somebody has to go in the store. Somebody's got to do it, guys. <laughs> and let's be real. Since Lisa can just cruise on through like a drive through I mean, of course I'm gonna send her every time. But we are getting ready to head through this tunnel. This is so cool, I just love this. Definitely one of my favorite spots in the park other than, of course, the animal exhibits. It's even like painted in here. Look at that cool gazelle adorning the wall there. Over here they have, uh, looks like a warthog. And there's a shoe bill. So, I mean, it looks like a shoe bill, right? So to answer, I think it was Heather's question. Yes, it looks like they do fly. There goes the zebra. Lisa's racing the zebra right now. And there is an elephant charging Lisa for racing the zebra. <laughs> Guys. It's Penguin Beach. Y'all know we gotta visit some penguins. Or as I like to call them, penguins. Oh wow, look at them. So these are African penguins. Penguins, penguins. These are African penguins. And the way you can tell that they're African penguins is because they're in the warmer climate. Look at these guys, they are so adorable. This guy's putting on a show. What's up guys? Y'all gonna jump in? Take a swim for us, let's see it. Let's see if they speak gator. Lisa's calling them down there. They're super cute. Now they do have these type of penguins also at the Baltimore Zoo, guys. If you want us to visit the Baltimore Zoo in our travels, but be sure to let us know. We're also thinking about maybe 
hitting up the, is it called the Smithsonian Zoo? Uh, what's next? The Washington National Zoo also. Which I've never been to that zoo before, so I'm really excited about that. Lisa has, she actually got lost there when she was a little kid. I'll let her tell you that story. Oh, there goes one. Look at him go. Making a lap. Here he comes. Here he comes. He's very graceful. How cute is that? It's almost like they're all watching. I know. They're watching him. He's like the Michael Phelps of the group, right. I think. Oh, it's the Penguin Olympics. Are you going in, buddy? No? He looked like he was gonna just test the waters, but then he, oh. He's, there seems to be a bully in the bunch here. I don't know. We don't like bullies. I guess they didn't get the memo. We are not into bullies. I was just informed by Lisa that the monkeys are out, guys, so we are on our way to go check out some primates. Look at her go. Woohoo! Well, Lisa was not kidding. Look at these guys. They're so acrobatic, it's amazing. What's up, buddy? So guys, I just missed it. Lisa told me that this guy right there just ran through the waterfall. I'm hoping he'll come back out, because that would be pretty awesome. There is actually a monkey on the other side of this waterfall right now, guys. Hoping he will come back out, or that this guy up here will do the same thing and run through the waterfall. That would be pretty cool. Come on, buddy, let's see it. Wow, look at him go. Awesome. There's King Louie right there. Wow. Look at the little guy. There's a baby down there. Aww. There goes King Louie right there. That's exactly what he looks like. Wow. Wow. That is so crazy. They're so expressive. Unbelievable. Keep it coming. did it we are hitting the road we are heading up north right now we're trying to actually outrun Hurricane Elsa which is on our way uh, apparently she's gonna be hitting Florida tomorrow uh, I guess in the evening tomorrow evening so Lisa's driving right now we're gonna be taking turns we're trying to get up there as quick as we can of course we're gonna be taking little stops to go to the bathroom get gas and grab something to eat that would be Simon. He likes the camera. I was just gonna tell you guys that we have all of our babies with us. We have, of course, Athena is right back here. There she is. What you doing, Thien? You being a good girl? Are you excited about the trip? She's enjoying herself back there. We have a nice hammock that we got for her. As you guys can see, it uh, takes up the seats there. And she's got her bed under her. She's, she's got her toys there. She is a very happy pup right now. That paranormal pup is just chilling. So we have Athena, 
we have Simon, we have Jasper, and we have our three pet glowfish with us right now. So this is our very first time ever traveling with fish. That's what makes me most nervous. Uh, the other animals, you know, we've traveled with birds, we've traveled with dogs before, and cats, but never with fish. So this is a first time for us. Hopefully we do okay. Um, we're gonna keep an eye on them. Every time we stop, we're gonna check on them, see if we need to put new air in their bag. We were gonna actually use a container. Uh, we both researched it like extensively, and apparently it's crazy, but the bags, they will actually survive longer um, the oxygen lasts longer in the bags. How crazy is that? Who knew? So that's what we did. We also have the containers with us just in case, but we're gonna try the bags. We're gonna just, you know, let the air out and then put new air in when we, maybe when we, um, maybe not when we get gas though because of the fumes. Uh, that would be bad. Let's not do that. Uh, yeah. Maybe when we go to a rest area or somewhere to eat or something like that. So how's my driver doing? Okay. So we got a 4th of July. Yeah, today is the 4th day. of July. Happy Independence Day, guys. I know it's a little bit late, but happy Independence Day. Um, we were off to kind of a crazy start. Do you want to tell everybody what happened? <laughs> okay, so it could have been a disaster. It kind of was a little disaster, but it could have been a worse disaster. It was definitely a sign what happened. <laughs> so go ahead and tell them. I we added a little cargo holder on the hitch back in, uh, outside with our luggage. So, and because I, it was going to storm, right. we decided to bungee a tarp on top yep. so that it kept everything sealed up. Well prepared. So we did not even get out of our development and we went over a, a bump. Jim was driving and she's like, wait a minute. I mean, it sounded like it scraped a little or something like yeah. that. And she looks in the rear view and she's like, oh my gosh, the whole car <laughs> is in the road. It was not funny at With the time. All of our stuff. It was Just, not funny at the oh time. Oh my gosh. So we had now to, it's hilarious. We had to go back, and it was so heavy, you can't just lift it up and put it back on the car. I literally, like, you guys know how football players, when they're in training, they have to push those heavy things with the coach standing on it? Right. I had to do that with that thing. Out of the road. Out like, of the road. It was literally in the middle of the intersection. It probably weighed 700 pounds. Ugh. Okay, guys, so this is actually how our trip is starting off. This was supposed to be in the hitch, and... I went over this bump here. As you can see, it drug bottom, but uh, yeah, there it is. So that's gonna be fun because this thing's really heavy. Ugh. Everything is telling us do not leave Florida. Jen thought really quickly what to do because I had no idea what to do. I was freaking out. Yeah, so basically what we had to do, guys, was we had to, I pushed it off to the grass, right? Uh, because there were cars coming. Uh, so then I was like, we're gonna have to take the tarp off which was a pain in the butt. And then we're gonna have to unload everything, reattach the hitch, and put everything back in. And so, and then what did we decided to do? What did, we decide, what did we decide to do so, though? Then we thought about, we're like, you know what? That carrier is not going with us, we're done. It was a sign, we weren't supposed to take we're it. We're done with that, so we took some things out, left some at home, and then Jen's like, I wanna see if we can tuck some bags in the car. So she did, it's unreal. Yep. I didn't even think we were going to get the suitcases in. They're, they're not huge suitcases, but they're suitcases. So. And the reality is, even though we have a lot of stuff in this car, it's actually better to have stuff packed pretty tight, especially when you're traveling with animals because it keeps their cages secure. So the bird cages right now, um, they're kind of wedged, which is good. So and that's probably, you know, things probably always work out the way they're supposed to. Here's the open road where guys, we are still in Florida. Is, is that like bugs on the windshield? Yeah. Trying to get my dash cam to work because then I could use that for all of these awesome road shots, but I can't seem to figure out how to get it turned on, but we'll see. Athena, do you think we can switch spots? I could probably uh, use a nap about now. I'm already sleepy. I'm already yawning. But, um, you look pretty comfy back there. What'd you think? Huh? Can we switch? You want shotgun? What do you think? Would you rather have Dina up here with you as your co-pilot? I don't think so. 
She's a pretty good navigator, I think. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> There's a snack around, she's gonna have her nose in it. That is the truth. And plus, she'll have my little hippo that Lisa got me. Oh my gosh, that will... If she knows that's yours, it's... That's the one she got me at Crockfest. We left our other one up there that Kimberly got for us so she can hold down the house. So as you guys can see, we only have 12 hours and 25 minutes left to our destination, which means, well, the GPS is saying we're gonna get there at 8.52. That's definitely not gonna happen because there are gonna be a couple stops that we have to make. All right. What's going on here? Peter I think that snipper's going. Hey. Is she snipping? Yes. You better be good. Lay down. You better lay down. Right now. Good girl. Good girl. That's better. That's a good girl. What I wouldn't give to be in your position, so you better appreciate it. Just have the whole back seat to stretch out in. Come on, man. What the freak is this, guys? Is that fog? That is so weird. This looks super familiar to the... I, I remember when we came down here. I remember this road very vividly because it was like four in the morning or something. Five in the morning when we came through here. Remember that? And we stopped at a McDonald's up here. And then I had bathroom problems all the way home. <laughs> yeah. Never stop at a McDonald's at six in the morning. So Lisa made the decision, the executive decision, that we are actually going to stop at this McDonald's. However, <laughs> we're not getting the hash browns. We do believe that was what made us sick. She just needs some coffee, and I just need an iced tea. Take the next left. Even the GPS is trying to take us in there, so I guess it's the right way. Check it out, guys. We are driving, and the windshield's really dirty. And check it out. We are seeing some awesome fireworks. Just, this is almost like Stark, Florida. How cool is that? See? <laughs> it doesn't suck to, to travel on the 4th of July. You still get to see some fireworks. Pretty cool. So I just wanted to give you guys a little warning. This is Stark, Florida. S-T-A-R-K-E. It's funny because Pappy always calls it Sparks. And the reason for that is because the state prison is here. I think there are a couple state prisons, but there's one here and um, it actually houses the electric chair. So, hence the name Sparks. Kind of funny. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's a little sick, but it's kind of funny. Um, so anyway, I just want to tell you guys though, if you ever do come to Florida, beware because there are two towns in this area, one being Stark, the other being Waldo. Like, where's Waldo? They the love... Continue straight to stay on US 301 North. They love to set up speed traps here, guys. They will nail you. So, just heed the stop. Heed, heed the speed limits because I'm telling you guys, they will, they will get you. Yeah, we're going to Jacksonville. Jacksonville. It's the pet toilet for Athena. Go, girl, go. Go, girl, go. <laughs> oh, it's a little dog house. It definitely smells like a pet toilet. There's <laughs> a porta potty for dogs. This is nice. They have a little uh, area for little Athena. Well, big Athena. Athena, it's your first south of the border potty stop. Now we did bring Snoopy and Petunia here before when we drove them. Yes, we did. I guess we were going north uh, that time. She's going crazy. She's never been in a pet park before. I'm sure there's pet poo in here. Let's watch where you're walking. She probably smells so many dogs. She's like, what the heck? It is, what is it, like four in the morning? Quarter to five. Oh, quarter to five a.m. And here we are. It's actually pretty nice. It's not too hot out here. <laughs> it would be like 90 in the middle of the day here. Oh my gosh, is that a water? 
She likes it. <laughs> Is it a drink station? Oh, that's nice. Oh, she that's her first hose drink. Whoa, this is the craziest bird. This bird has been flying here. It's dark and it's flying. Yeah, right here. It was flying earlier. It's the south of the border bird. Here he comes. Now he's up on the cactus. Jen is training Athena to be adventure dog. So guys, this is what it looks like here at south of the border. Like I said, nothing is currently open except for the gas station, which we're thankful for that, um, that, that that was at least open. But we'll take you down here and show you guys the places that we enjoy here. There's the sombrero. I actually, when I was a little kid, I went up in that sombrero. I love these. These are so cool. The um, animals they even have a jackalope there. You'll never catch me. Fort Pedro. There's more animals. There's a gorilla there. And a teepee and a blue alligator with some uh, dynamite or firecracker. Some little burrows. I like that they have food trucks here now. They didn't used to have those. Yeah, look at all these food trucks. It's pretty cool. There's a hippo by Dave. There's another Pedro. There's a rhino. Yes, I love rhinos too. And a bear. I love bears. And there's another hippo back there. Did you see him? The big pink one? That's the one that we actually put Petunia in, Snoopy, or put Petunia in his mouth. And... No, I hear birds outside. What's Lisa doing at 4.57 in the morning? You never know. I'm not responsible. <laughs> She's not responsible. Um, down that way a little further. Look at this. Look at this Mustang over here. Standing up on his back legs. How cool is this? Do a Yui and take us around. Yeah, this is actually the reptile building, guys. There's a bridge that goes across the road, which is really cool. Oh. I know, the sun's getting ready to come up, so this will be good. We'll have some daylight soon. Hopefully we'll be able to just keep pushing through. Honestly, the hardest hour is like between, the hardest hours are between like three and five. Here, go right here. Here oh. it is right here. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. There's some chickens. Wow. Those are some big chickens. I'm not sure what this building is. Wow. It looks like a bank. Maybe it used to be a bank or something. They're not playing around either with this fence. But if I had those kind of animals in here, I wouldn't be playing around either. I want somebody to take your animals. I don't want to see so bad though. There's a giant Pedro. I see in there. 
I love him. He's so cool with all the gators on himself. Look at him with all the gators. Oh, look, you can see him here too. Uh, yeah, I think so. Don't show Simon. They have a pet parrot in here too. Yeah. It's like uh, Simon's side. Is he up on top of the cage? Yeah. Look at that. Look, guys. I see a reflection though in the window. It's really creepster. Look, guys, it's like right here. It looks like a person. See him? Is it the back of a person? Look. I don't know. Guys, I have been wanting to try out this steakhouse right here for the longest time. And every time we come here, they are closed. It's called the Peddler Steakhouse. If any of you guys have ever eaten here, I would love to hear a review. I, I want to know what it's like. See, they're open like, it says 5 p.m., but I don't know how late they stay open. Probably only a couple hours, maybe like 5 to 9, 5 to 10. But man, I want to try that place so bad. Listen to all the birds singing already, guys. It's only 5 a.m. So guys, this is the south of the border motor lodge. We're not staying here, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. Pretty cool. They do actually have an indoor pool even. Just doing a roll through. Don't mind us, we're just checking it all out. The lady at the front desk is looking at us like we're crazy. So they actually have like this dome here with an indoor pool. I don't see it right here, but it's around here somewhere. Oh no, wait, I do see it. It's right there. Yeah. It's right back there behind those trees. Oh. It's a dome. Pretty cool. And there's the south of the border guy. I think we can do it. We are gonna go right under. Are we going his legs? Yeah, we are. Going right between his legs. Yeah. Here we go. Right under those legs. Yeah, so this is where we were talking about we ate before, guys. And that's a pretty cool shop in here, too. Look how cool this is. More flamingos. And I love that they have fountains here. It's so cool. And a whale down there. This is the Myrtle Beach shop. Goodbye south of the border until we meet again.